Sweet. <laughs> it's happening. Got a uh, 98 bourbon. And it's got no brakes. I just about drove it through the wall here. Uh, got a few problems. We got blown brake lines and we got a blown uh, power brake booster. We already got the uh, brake booster from Rock Auto. Big old box over here. First, I want to play around with this thing. Show you guys that maybe don't know about these things and uh, how you can tell if the brake booster is bad just by hitting the brake, basically. She's got some miles on her. 280 grand. My opinion, these are the last good trucks GM built, the GMT 400 platform. They were solid, man. They've easily, easily run 300,000. I had one, I had a 94 that I sold, but just a regular pickup, four wheel drive. I sold that with 266,000 on the clock and it was still running strong. I made the mistake of uh, buying a Silverado in its place. But anyways, I'm getting off track here. I'll get the auto fired up. Here we go. So we're gonna fire this thing up. Whoa, gauge is wigging out. She's a runner. Good old 350. Legendary. Now you press on the brake. Now take a listen. Let's see if I can get you down by the brake. That's pretty much a dead ringer for a leaky brake booster. If you know how they work, they just take engine vacuum and apply it to one side of a giant rubber diaphragm. That is what gives it a mechanical advantage for your brakes. So you're not using two feet to stop. So what we're gonna do here, <clears throat> just wanted to show you, I'm get two incomplete. Uh, where am I going? Live data. This is kind of cool. Oh, let's kill the mosquito inadvertently. Okay. Come on, come on. Whoa. All right, uh, what do we got here? Fuel trims. Okay, we'll do this. Pick all the fuel trims. I don't know if you guys can see. There's the O2s. One, two, three, four, show. Okay, we'll graph all these guys. I guess that's about all we're going to be able to fit on this page. That's fine. Okay, so fuel trims, eh, they're all right. Not bad. Pulling fuel away. It's got an evap issue, so that could be why it's running just a little bit rich. That negative, negative number means it's pulling the fuel away. Now I'm going to stand on a brake or step on it. I'm not going to put it to the boards, but <clears throat> but here we go. One, two, three. Brake is applied. Engine stumbling. Look at the O2s going full lean. Let's watch the short-term fuel trims. They're going positive now. And they're going into double digits. And they're climbing. They're climbing, climbing, climbing. 20%. 30. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, she's climbed 35. I want to see how high they go. But flat line lean on the O2s. 40s 50 that's it maxed out at 50 maxed out 
and I was starting to get some O2 activity, and I'm going to let off and watch the O2s. Now <laughs> things pig wretch, it's starting to stall. Yeah. Now the trim short term is coming down. Falling like a rock, I'll give it some gas. Yeah, right to zero. Ba boom. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. Good way to back up what you hear, and you know. I'm gonna shut this off before I get fumigated. Alright, so that was kind of a cool little. I like doing that, playing around. So let's see what we got. What is happening there? Why is hanging? Oh, the whole light fell off the fell off the uh, hood there. That's awesome. Oh, it rotted right off. Beautiful. Good old mercury switch. But I'll do something about that later. Now, this is our culprit right here. Let me get some light. Yeah, that's the brake booster behind the master cylinder there. The hose coming off it. Looks awful damp. I'm hoping, oh boy. I'm wondering if I'm gonna need a master. Guess we'll find out when we pull it off. If we lost the seal and the master cylinder and it, and it, and it took out the booster. That's always a possibility. We shall see. Yeah, we gotta see what I'm up against under here. Oh boy. I can't see a damn thing in there. We're gonna have to pull this column down. Probably. Yet. That sucks. Gee, I'm gonna have to put this by here. That's real nice. So I don't know if pulling this thing, I'm gonna pull it out of there, I think. Oh boy. Whiskey biscuits. <clears throat> it's from Tucker Got. Thanks, buddy. That's good, a held vacuum. Always a good sign. Can I get under here without a swivel? No, I cannot. Okay. Let's try plan B. for the 20 pound magnet on the light. Damn, there we go. Sweet. Retrieved it. Hey, what do we got here? Got some crap down here. Bend the lines a little. Ah, it doesn't look like it's leaking. That's a good sign. Not a lot anyways. <laughs> not soaked but it's not dry either oh I might just be grease okay okay well, that was easy now the fun part begins you gotta go in there you can't see nothing can okay, I see that little guy in there where is he where is he right there that is the clip that I need to get off I'm gonna press the brake with my arm if I can, we can see how the brake switch works right there. We can hold this still enough. See, it just, that's the brake switch. Pull all this plastic crap down so I can get to the bolts. Oh, this is gonna suck. I can see that already. How far up does this go? Yep, those are going to be fun to get to. Fun, fun, fun. There's two there. And then way up in the back is one there, and then the other one's way up in the back, sorry. This is just, there's no way I'm going to be able to record this, so I'm going to do battle. <coughs> oh, 
I can get out of here. I've got a plethora of prying devices. Got my scraper. I don't know if I'll be able to get that in there. Got a little plastic trim tool. A couple screwdrivers. We'll see what works. I'll let you know what works and what doesn't. Wish I could get in there. Wish I had a little tiny camera that I could mount up inside there so you guys could see, but this is what it is. We'll be back. <clears throat> GoPro batteries kind of suck. I'm learning that as I go. So, I managed to destroy this freaking thing. I, get, I think right now if I get a magnet on that, it'll come right off now. Something that was on top of that went twang. I have no idea where it is right now. Let's see if I can jam it right in there. Yeah, that's about it. But she's pretty loose on there, so I'm gonna try to hunt down that piece that went flying and get the magnets shoved in there and see if I can get that thing out of there. Oh yeah, none of these worked either. Too short, way too short, and too angled wouldn't go so I used the old the old gasket scraper that I got somewhere probably off Amazon or some place that sells Chinese tools all right here she is mangled I suspect this thing's been out before because it was kind of this part lower part right here was all folded up before I folded it up even more so we got a problem now i have a problem i can't find that friggin piece that thing went into another dimension i'm probably gonna have to pull this whole carpet up to try to find it. i guarantee you it went down down the hatch in the back there oh joy of joys that crap of bleeding I just got stabbed by something in that carpet and what the hell that was now the phone's ringing Man, that's a freaking disaster. Freaking, I'm leaking everywhere. This thing won't stop freaking bleeding. Well, found the culprit. At least it wasn't a syringe. Freaking glass. Wonderful. It's just a little tiny cut and I bled like a stuck pig. What a freaking horror show. It's raining. Well, might as well open the box, I guess. Just gonna blow off some steam and calm down a little. Getting fired up as usual. Oh, my knife cut some tape that time. Amazing. All right. Got bubble wrap. Yeah, take that. Supposed to be genuine AC Delco pot. Boy, looks like it's been in a flood. Yeah, look at that. Remanufactured for AC Delco. Ruh -ruh. It's a big old hole there. Petro in Mexico. Let's just say, remanufactured. Meets General Motors requirements for service parts and was remanufactured for General Motors by previously used components. I should be scared. Whoa, watch it. Low flying aircraft. Can't see him. IMC today. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Well, I got a lot of stuff to play with here. Yeah, wow. It's like Christmas. Let's see, what made the big hole? Huh. One of these. Warning. Failure to replace a leaky master will void the warranty. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Warranty void if check valve is removed. Huh, interesting. All right, let get some directions. This is being provided for your convenience. The GM's way of saying, be thankful we, put, we spent the money to put this thing in the box for you. That's what it sounds like. Dear customer, hold on. This notice indicates that you are being provided or sold a part that was remanufactured for GM. Remanufactured parts meet GM approved service part requirements are made from previous used components and process involves disassembly, inspection, cleaning, update of software, and replacement of parts as appropriate testing and reassembly. 
part name blank you are responsible for knowing and complying with your disclosure obligations. This is not legal advice. Yeah, they don't want to get sued. <laughs> 10 of 99. It's a little outdated, buddy. All right, well, that didn't tell me much. Let's get this thing out of the bar. Wow, fancy, nice. It's all gooey with Cosmoline, too. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff in here. What is Directions. How do you put it in? Disconnect the ground cable from the battery. Yeah, no, I won't be doing that. But I recommend you do that for whatever reason. Uh, okay, move them. Disconnect vacuum hoses. Written in French. And didn't say anything about fighting a clip. Okay, well, anyways, I'm just wasting film here. I'm going to have to look for that clip online because I can't find it. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, Kenda and Natalie. <laughs> ah, beautiful. That's fantastic. That's mint. Doesn't look like it has any oil on it at all. Sweet. Whoa, what happened down here? <laughs> Something got blasted. Huh, that's a good way to stop a leak. Sweet. All right, so I'm doing battle with sockets trying to figure out <clears throat> what in the hell I can get up in here. The impact ain't working, they're too big. So I gotta use my, uh, might have to go back to the ratchet, but uh, I'm gonna try to I'm going to try to use a, a reducer here and try to get the impact on there. If I can get in there, well, that's what I'm dealing with now. Four little bolts, and I'm sitting here for half an hour trying to get to them. What a nightmare. It's been 20 minutes since I started trying to get these bolts out. Look how many bolts I got out of here. Yep, that's right. Oh, the old snap-on ratchet from 1999 is coming in pretty handy, though. I got the head angled, at least for this bolt. This is the easiest bolt of all of them to get, and I'm starting with this one. So that's about all the, that's about all the purchase I can get on that, but being able to angle the head like that bought me a lot of uh, space. So we're just gonna keep on doing this for the next uh, 45 minutes, and I'll be back with you. So this is my setup for the second one. So it's right above there. So I got a, uh, I don't know what you're going to be able to see. I can't, I'm getting reflections off everything here. I got a deep socket with a swivel on it and a three inch extension. And I had to feed that up through right here where my fingers are. And then I had to feed six inch extension through here to plug into that because it won't fit that whole get up won't fit through that little tiny space there so what i'm attempt to do is uh get a reducer on there and find it yeah and the camera's filming all caddy wampus again i'm gonna try to put my uh impact on that and see what happens oh man all right, so we got one by hand, and the rest I got being creative with the the old three eight swivel on the on the big impact. It was uh, beating the crap out of my tools, but got it out a lot quicker than it would have gone. I just don't know how I'm gonna get all those back in. I'm gonna have to get creative with some grease in here, and it's gonna be fun. I'll tell you. Whoever engineered this deserves a severe beating, I'll tell you that much. But she's just hanging there now. She's ready to come out of there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tell me. Oh, she's stuck on something. Many things. I gotta get a light over here. What the hell have we got going on here? Wires everywhere. Modern cars, I swear they're built out of wires. 
That's the only thing holding me together. Come on, baby. Uh, Glad I saw that. Nice exposed terminals, no tape. Hey, hey, hey. Tell you. Joy of joys. Come on now, get out of there. I gotta go under there, see if I can. The stupid garage disconnected. It was. It might not be now though. That's what your problem was, lady. <clears throat> Still attached. Ah, oh, now what's the problem? Oh my god. Would have been easier taking the stupid booster off. I mean, the uh, master cylinder. Trying to do this, I'm destroying the brake line. Jeez, Louise. Stupid pile of crap. Oh. Uh oh. Is that supposed to stay with it? I wonder. Got, got its own CC. Okay, that's good though. So we got a big old hole in the diaphragm inside there. I think all this is from the guy's spilling fluid because this thing's got blown brake lines too, so. Because I don't see, I'm not looking here, but what the hell's all that, foam? That's weird. Oh, it's grease. Looks like foam. It's a little old. I'm not seeing fluid leaking out of here. I pressed on this thing too. Let's see if I can't do it again. I'm not seeing any fluid coming out of there. So I'm gonna have to clean all that up. And that crap gasket broke. Of course, I could put some sealer there, I guess. That's not a big deal. Sealer it is. We'll put some uh, Permatex right stuff. Or, oh, actually, I got some better stuff that'll work for this. I don't think there'll be a next booster going in this truck. I mean, it's been it's in good shape, but, you know, it's already been painted once. She's starting to come undone again. Days are numbered, I guess. Okay, let's get this thing in. Then I decided against using the GSL because the next guy, he'll never, if there is a next time, he'll never be able to get it off. So just in case, I could have this kicking around for a while. High temp. It's overkill for this application, but we're gonna use it because it's what I got. Now, it's pretty humid, so I don't anticipate this drying that quick. I'm just gonna put a dab of grease on that first. Some AMS oil off road, synthetic polymeric. That'll work. Put a little dab on that. Ah, crap. Go on with the cat. Trying to do things one handed. I'm making a mess. Timber, there's all my stuff. That's gonna make the. Uh, 
rod stick to the master but it'll be lubed won't wear that's for sure Boy. stinky stinky glad this isn't painted this is scratch stupid wires Bingo! Ah, crap, I gotta clean that off. Don't know if that's connected directly to the battery. I'm not gonna be the guy that finds out. Where did the rod go? Oh, is that what just fell out of there? You suck bag. Yep. Boy, good thing I looked. That would have been nice. So yeah, watch out for the rod. Yeah, something dropped. Look. Yeah, so I put some grease on the end of that. The other end. It's less likely. Yeah, it's not going to come out now, but... Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, we'll fight with that afterwards. Concentrate on getting this thing bolted up underneath there. Stupid camera. It's sideways or upside down. I don't know what way it's filming right now, but it does that when I lean. Another quirk about the GoPro that I do not like, and the fact that it eats battery. I got 21% battery life left, and the other other two batteries are charging at the same time. They're not even done yet. Uh, kind of a pain in the ass. First world problem. Come on now, give me a hard time. You're gonna make me swear. Okay, that usually puts them in line. I don't wanna hear that. Okay, how am I gonna get my hand up in this joint? Two fingered, oh boy. Yeah. Got it. I don't believe it. Did that with the tips of my fingers. So I got that one started. Yeah, you laugh now. Wait till you get to that one. That one there. <clears throat> I'm going to have to put grease in a deep socket and <clears throat> try to fish it up there. This truck must have mold in it. When I turned on, I went to see if the AC would work. My lungs just went... Friggin' closed right up on me. <laughs> so there's some good stuff living in this truck. The carpet's soaking wet in the bottom, so I don't know if the windshield's leaking. Found some old grease to use. Lube Tech Petroleum Division. DKM Enterprises Incorporated, Chicago. Some old stuff here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, perfect for holding the nut in. I can get my digits in here. Yep, I can. You always tell when it's raining, all the aircraft coming over. They use a different runway when the, every time it rains, the wind comes out of the east, so they land at the runway that their approach is right over my house, which I love. I know how people complain about airports. I love it. I love aircraft. I like watching them. I like listening to them. Makes me happy. So that's in there. It's holding pretty good. So it turns out <laughs> that didn't work with the grease. Well, it worked holding the nut in. It did its job, but look at, I can fit my arm up in here without the rod hooked up to the brake pedal. Sorry about the glare there, but like brake pedal's just hanging here, but I can get my hand right up in here. So this ain't too bad. I'm threading it on right now so I can reach this bottom one geez I might even be able to get the top one too that one's covered in goo great our TV all over me I just happen to have a rag right here for convenience so what am I doing where's my stuff oh I can't find it I'm done and I'm stuck on my back Did I mentioned I hate doing interior work I'm contorted like a pretzel. That's my gut. 
can't see my legs because they're like three inches lower than my gut. <laughs> oh, is, I need a fastening device here. Yeah. Come on. Okay, this one's easy. Man, that was super easy. Get my hand right in there. Oh. I guess the key is to get that rod out of the way. Yeah, that's good. I gotta make sure I can get the rod back on before I go hammering these down. I have to find a clip for the rod, which really sucks. But what are you gonna do? I busted. Oh yeah, I can't get my digits up in here. I have to do the two finger deal. I'm holding it like this. <laughs> That's all I can do. The drop hazard is extremely high. If you can kind of balance it on there. Ah, I got it on there, but I can't get it straight. Because ah, my knuckles are going right into the boot. Right into the rod. Shit. It's hanging on there by a thread. Okay, now I'm able to get around the rod. With index and thumb. I'm spinning. Oh, I got it. I got it started. Sweet. I'm going to be creative working on stupid engineering like this, you know? Okay, I won. I won, I won, I won. So I got them all tight. I was able to get three of them with the impact, just like last time. This one over here in the lower left is too steep of an angle for the, I mean, lower right, right hand side. It was too uh, steep of an angle for the, uh, <coughs> for the swivel. They were just bind up, so just did that one by hand, no biggie. Actually, wasn't as bad as I thought, but now the fun part comes. I gotta get my little hands <laughs> through that little gap, or a couple fingers through there, and a hand up around the back, and try to get that thing back on there. <clears throat> now I gotta get that clip back on. I'm gonna have to go and order one of those. Might as well go do that right now. But you can see what brake fluid does to paint. I wanted to show you guys this. That's. That's what happens if you leave brake fluid on your paint job. It's just like uh, just like aircraft paint stripper. It just takes it right off like nothing. It's just coming off in chunks there. And then when you lose your paint up here in the northeast, you get rust. It's the name of the game. You can see how it's all wrinkled up just like uh, paint stripper. So keep the brake fluid off the paint and then life will be good. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh boy. Well, I have to say, I don't think they're dumb enough to make a pot. It's cheap enough anyways. A whole set of them. Got a discount. So, I don't think they're dumb enough to make, to uh, cheap out on a pot like that. A mission critical pot like that because they will get their asses sued like you read about. I don't think any company wants to risk that, so. It is what it is. It's on the inside of the vehicle and it's not electronic, so I kind of trust it a little bit more. <laughs> Dormin and electronics, yeah, I don't know. Might as well take your good electronics and throw it in the lake. And then you got a dormin. And what are you doing, little kitty? Pumpkin. <laughs> gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh, I'm bugging you, huh? I'm bugging you. You got a, such a rough life. Say something to the people. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Good little kitten. Good little kitten. He's not a kitten anymore. He's getting pretty big. That's the next project. My cats are insane. They busted the thing in half. And they ripped all the friggin... This has been a few cats that have been at this, but I gotta cut all that off. Crazy little guys. All right, back over here. We got, got the dormant pots. Dormant help. Where else? <laughs> uh, I got the lights back, sweet. Like the broken one today. This kit comes with two different clips. 
This, this is the uh, old style uh, going back, I think, to the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even earlier. But this is the one we need here. It looks like it comes with two of each. We need the round one. Yeah, this guy right here. So when I was pulling this off, or well, before I started pulling this off, this was all bent up like crazy. And this, uh, this round piece right here is a part that went flying that I couldn't find. But uh, that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to throw this on and call this job done. We got the clip on. What you will see here. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought. Just grab the clip with a pair of uh, angled uh, needle nose here and uh, gave it a shove. Clipped right on easy. Certainly a lot easier than it came off, that's for sure. Just about done. The only thing I got left is uh, got my little stool because I'm short. Got to tighten the bolts down and we're golden. I already got the hose hooked up and uh, that's about it. That's it. Nice new brake booster. Very pretty. Uh, Delco Reman. Wasn't any leaks coming out of the back of this thing. I think uh, it's looking to me like this has been, they've been adding fluid because of this. Yep. I pumped the brakes a few times to see if the boost, how the booster felt, and uh, that's what I got. So, brake lines are next. Blinded you guys. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, that's it. Coming up next on this same vehicle, we've got some brake lines to do. So, we'll see you on the next one.